What's up, everybody? Double Dabber 12 here, bringing you back with another episode on Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm for a beginner to master. Today, we're going to be using um, Sasuke Uchiha running on Shardy Gun. And I believe I did a, um, an episode of Beginner to Master already on him. I believe it was my first one, I think. I'm not sure. It was such a long time ago, but um, I'm going to be doing a re upload because my audio was bad in that other video. But we're going to be doing him, and there's a lot of tricks I can do with running on Sasuke, and this was also requested by a subscriber. So, that means that if you want your, if you want me to do your character, just listen down in the comments section below, and then I will put it on the list, because I have a lot, a lot of stuff to do. I got Kakashi to do, I got Pain to do, Kaguya to do, and then Jugo to do, so I got a lot of people to do. <laughs> But I am going to go in order, so after Sasuke, I'm going to do um, PTS Kakashi, then PTS Kakashi, I think I'm going to do Kaguya or Pain, I got to look, I because I got this down on the list, I got to go look back and see um, who, who I have to do, but if you enjoy this video, if you enjoy this video, excuse me, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more Beginner to Master tutorials, I guess, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Alright everybody, okay, so first of all, you know, you know we always know how we're gonna do this. We classify each character within four steps. First we classify our character with the first step which is character and we study his character and combos. The second step is we study his grab and tilts. The third step is we study his jutsus and ultimate jutsu cancels. And the fourth step is we're gonna cover his awakening. And once you cover all these steps, this is how you become from beginner to a master. So I promise you guys, you will learn something from the end of this uh, tutorial. You will learn something new about Sasuke. <laughs> so with this Sasuke, we're gonna talk about the character and combos. That's step one. So um, what I recommend you do is you should go watch the video in the description below me of me talking about the types of Naruto characters because you won't exactly get this tip if you don't go watch the video. So you go, go watch the video, come back, and then you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so, first of all, I classify Sasuke as a pure speed type. Pure speed type, just because he has one of the fastest priority hits in the game. Like, uh, well, Sasuke has always been fast. He's, he's like one of the fastest characters. But his, like, his first three hits are like the fastest in the game, and it has so much range too. It's like, it's, Sasuke is one of the fastest characters in the game, but I don't, uh, see, I don't, I don't, I think he just appears speed type because I don't classify him as an attack type because he doesn't really do any damage to the guard or something. And I don't classify him as a technical type or defense type because that's just not his style. So I classify him as a pure speed type. All right, so now we're gonna go to his character and his combo. So first, let me turn all this junk on there we go all right so first we'll look at his neutral combo there we go sasuke i'm at that too sasuke looking stanky i see you all right now we're gonna look at the down combo Woo, throw that rock on oh my goodness that looks so beautiful and now last but not least we're gonna look at the up combo And that's basically it. <laughs> now, let me show you. Okay, so, now obviously, if you haven't known before, that the neutral combo is faster than the rest of his combos. Well, most of Sasuke's combos are pretty long in general. So, <laughs> they're, they're all pretty long, but I say the neutral combo is the fastest one. Now the, now, the down combo is the one that has the most damage. At least the one I see right now. Yeah, Sasuke's the one that has the most, uh, the down combo is the one that has the most damage. I'm gonna try one more time. I don't know, it's kinda hard to tell. <laughs> it's kinda hard to tell, they kinda look equal. Hold on, let me turn the, the health off. There we go. I don't know. I don't know, I think the down combo does more. <laughs> now, now I look at it. They're like so equal, I can't tell which one. Um, I guess, you know, I would put like this. The neutral combo and the down combo do equal damage, because that's just what I see. The 
I can't really, I can't see no difference. All right, so now we're going to his air combo. Oh, no, 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 wait. I gotta tell you one more thing about the down combo. Right, right there, you see where the planetary devastation sucks up everything? Now, you should use that to your advantage, because a lot of people probably already know this trick, but once Saucy sucks up everything, they cannot suck. So, it, because it attacks everywhere around Saucy. It attacks them from behind, from the side, from the front, everywhere. So once not Sasuke does that planetary devastation right there, then they can't sub. They can't sub and they get caught in the um, caught in the combo. So right there at this point, it's insubable. Insubable. Yeah, there we go. Mm, I love that combo so much. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, my throat is a little itchy. Alright, so now we're gonna do on to his air combo. Now, this Sasuke has one of the best air combos in the game. I mean, this is on, like, um, one of the best air combos, like, Gara, um, like, um, Naruto, uh, who, 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 that's a good air combo? I don't know, I can't remember. Does he not do- no, no, he not just doesn't have a I, well, I don't know, but I think this Sasuke has one of the best air combos, because, um, uh, I, I don't really want to I don't want to make a tutorial on this, but I guess... I should, but um, some air combos have what I like to call um have magnetic that they can just make an air combo from anywhere whether you're on the ground or not. So basically, a magnet air combo is basically where is it's a super good air combo. I know Toby Rama has that. Toby Rama, and Minato, and Sasuke have like the super air combo. So <laughs> this Sasuke air combo is so good. Mm. So just uh, so basically just um so basically just you use his air combo because he will hit if you block and you block the air and you press zero it will hit always like a hundred percent it will always hit literally one of the best air combos in the game. All right, so now we're gonna move on to his tilt and his grab. Now his we're gonna just look at his grab. My previous one, I already showed you it earlier. There we go. And look at his tilt. There we go. Look pretty and spiky and black. All right. All right. So his, as you guys already probably know, that his air combo, not air combo, but his grab is one of the best in the game, just because he has that almighty hit box right there, and it lasts for three seconds. So basically, with this grab, as long as the lightning is there, you're pretty much the grab will still go. The, the grab will still go. So. So if it lasts for three seconds, that means it was still it's still active for three seconds. So you can call this a trap. You can call this kind of a trap grab. But it's this this grab is crazy because it really is crazy. Um, cause like you try you can't even sub it because even if you do sub it, you still get caught in it. So that's how crazy it is. So it's, always always use this grab. Try to spam out this grab as much as you can. And then, here is an easy way to cancel into the grab and turn on the guard. There we go. I'm uh, pretty much advanced Sasuke players know how to do this. But it's just a 3 hit combo right there. You see where the black flames come out? Right there. You, there it goes. But you, you have to do this when they're guarding. Because that's when they're most vulnerable. They don't know when it's coming. Alright, so you do the, you do the little 3 hit combo and then you just cancel the grab. Very easy, very easy. Or, or if you want to do something fancy, you want to do a fancy combo, do the up combo, and then cancel the grab. Oh, wow, that doesn't cancel. I thought it canceled. There you go. So basically, so basically, you just do a three hit combo and then just cancel to the grab while they're blocking. There you go. See? Just like that. And the best thing is, they will never ever expect it. So it's completely oblivious. It's completely oblivious. Next, I'm gonna, next we're gonna go to his tilt. Where is his tilt? Okay, next we're gonna go to his tilt. Now his tilt is super long range. Su or it's not super long range, but it's, it has good quality range. I mean, look at that. Good range. And it staggers them for about two seconds. Yeah, I'll say for about two seconds. And with this, with this is actually a good thing to tilt because it happens instantly. So 
so even you can do it while somebody is trying to hit you. So let's say somebody dashes into my guard. I can instantly go into the tilt and switch to another character and do a cool combo. And that's why this and that's why his tilt is so good because it's long. It's a long range tilt. It's not long. It's not like super long range, but it has a lot of distance to it. And that can actually, um, you can combo that up into something because it staggers the opponent. So, something like this. Something like that. There you go, see? Just like that. Or, if they're close enough, you can use the tilt and you switch another character and get another combo off. Bid your bomb! Alright, there we go. Okay, so. <laughs> I was memorized by the BG bomb. Alright, so that's all I got for the silks. Not really anything else besides you can combo out of it and be in besides distant range, I guess. Alright, so now I'm going to go on to his jutsu. Now, what jutsu do I have on right now? Oh, I have on the Onyx Chi Door. Now, since Sasuke has has a lot of jutsus in his arsenal, I am not going to do all of them. I'm only going to do the jutsus that I think are best for Sasuke. At least for this Sasuke. <coughs> oh my god, excuse me. I know you, you guys do not want to hear me talk. Okay, so. Uh, the Onyx Jory is actually better than people expected. And I think that if you um, if some people practice with this Onyx Jory, they'll become very good. So I see this Jory has a lot of potential. Right, first, let's, just, let's see how much damage the Onyx Jory does. <coughs> That does crap damage. I'm not gonna lie. That does crap damage. I mean, <laughs> that's like a Konohamaru, um, a Konohamaru Rasengan. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. That does crap damage. But the thing with the Jutsu is that he can charge the Shidori instantly. Like, he can charge it without no, without the opponent noticing. So if you use this close range. They won't have nothing that they won't have no idea what hit them. It is so fast and it's, you can charge it so easily. And plus, it, plus it's easier to cancel out. Like you can cancel right into a combo. Or something like that. Or you can use it within your combo. It's not artist oh, Let me try it. Let me use it within my combo. Oh, uh, hold on. There we go. There you go, so I, so I suggest with this Jutsu, try to cancel it within your combos because I think this is what the Jutsu was made for. Because it, does, it doesn't do that much damage and, and it doesn't, in, uh, put, I'll, I'll put it this way. You can see the Chidori coming. You can see the Chidori coming. It doesn't follow you. It's not that good support. So I suggest use, um, if you're gonna use this Jutsu, use it within your combo because that, when you use it within your combos, that makes Sasuke super good. Especially this Sasuke. So when you do it into your combos, that does probably about the damage of a giant Rasengan. So try to get try to get like mixed up with this Sasuke. Mixed up with Sasuke. Because you never know what you can do. Because you can Sasuke has the ability to cancel into all his combos with the Jutsu. Or at least with the Chidori. But for some reason it doesn't work with the regular Chidori. Because the regular Chidori has um more cast out time more, or more cooldown more cooldown time or it takes longer to charge put that all right so another thing that the on story can do is that he can charge it up he charges it up he teleports right to the opponent and it's, it's and just touches the opponent that's basically it so there is a way to use it strategically First of all, you can let um, Sasuke charge up on his own, switch the character, and then go in, and then BAM! And you can use this at long range. And, and let me tell you, Sasuke will teleport wherever the opponent is. Whether he is on the air or on the ground, he will teleport and get, unless they're blocking, he will get them regardless of where they are or where they're dodging. So you can do something like this, and BAM! Fake out with another character and then switch back into Sasuke and get the cutscene juice. So let me show you one more time. Alright, get back. Back it on up. Alright, there we go. So you can go all the way right here. 
switch out your character. And bam. Alright, so what I did here is that I charged up my Onyx Chidori, switched out of Sasuke into Naruto, dashed with Naruto, and then switched back into Sasuke. Because his charge up thing only takes about 3 seconds. Oh my goodness. I, I gotta say, I love the, the look of the Onyx Chidori. It looks pretty cool. A black Chidori. But it takes about 3 seconds to charge up fully, and then he teleports. So in that time, charge up, teleport, and then teleport back to Sasuke. I mean, switch back to Sasuke. But, um, um, you're gonna have to get creative if you can use this to your advantage. Because, think about it, he can teleport anywhere across the map in just 3 seconds. That's pretty cool. The ancient, you almost have no, no visualization of what's going on. Alright, so, and I have one more trick for the Anchi Boy. Put the guard on. He can cancel it with his, um, he can cancel it with his, um, combos. Let me check, let me show you. I mean, he can cancel into his combos, put it that way. So let's say your opponent is blocking, he's far away. Cancel into your combos. Cancel into your combos. So basically, if you use this right, you can, there's no run away from Sasuke. If you use the Jutsu. Smart. If you use Jutsu Smart, you can cancel right into a throw, or you can cancel to your combos. It doesn't really matter. Or you can use this, tub to your opponent, and then switch out your, um, switch out. And this is very good if you have, like, Hashirama on your team, or Marder, trying to get some good guard damage on. So just, 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 just keep in mind that, just keep in mind, because this is actually very important, and I, I just realized this myself, so... <laughs> I just realized this that you can actually, if you got Madara or Hashirama, you can teleport with Sasuke and then just demolish the guard. So you can do this. Oh my goodness. And you can't run from Sasuke either. <laughs> you can't run from Sasuke. Woo, Bidjo Bum. Hello, Bidjo Bum. Alright, so now we're gonna go on to Sasuke's ultimate jutsu, which is uh, one of my favorite looking jutsus in the game. Um, um, it's fine, look at all. Alright, so first I'm gonna break her guard so you know I'm not lying. It is the up combo. Oh, not fast. I mean, this, this is a very hard jutsu to um, do. Very hard jutsu to cancel into. It's the up combo about on the ninth hit right there. Ooh, so close. Okay, I got you really fast. Alright, let me try one more time. There you go, I got it. I got it. Got it. Woo! Oh my goodness! Okay, so it's on. It's on. It's the ninth hit of the up of the up combo. So basically, once he flips him over, right there. You see that? When he just flips him over, you have to immediately cancel into like the fastest, the fastest one. Oh, so close. It's like, it's, you gotta do it super quick. Alright, I think I got it. Ooh, barely. Barely I got it. <laughs> you gotta do it very fast. Like, this is one of the most hardest combo cancels in history. So, you, you, you're you gonna have to practice with Sasuke. If you wanna get very good with Sasuke, you're gonna have to practice with him. Because he's a kind of a hard cookie to learn. Oh, I got it. Okay, that works. All right, so now I'm gonna show you another of Saucy Juicy's I think will go good with Saucy. So I will be right back. All right, so, all right, so now I actually have two Juicy's. I have the Inferno Style Fireball Juicy, and I also have the Inferno Style Susano Flame Control. Now, <clears throat> now I I picked this Juicy because I think this is the best for Sasuke, and I think this is the one most people use with this Sasuke. The, in, the Infernal Style Fireball Jutsu. So we're gonna talk about this first. Now the Infernal Style Fireball Jutsu is no doubt the most powerful projectile in the whole game. It's, it's, it's big, it's moderately fast, and it got that huge, humongous hit box right there. So, I'm pretty sure you guys know you can just spurt it out. Spurt it out right there. Surprisingly, it, does, it doesn't do that much damage to yourself. This is got much damage. First thing, start off. There you go. 
Oh no, that does a lot of damage. Never mind, it does a lot of damage. If you link that up into a strike back, <laughs> you're dead. If you link this up to a strike back, you are dead. Just because look, just look how much damage it is. Person turn. Alright, there you go. So let's uh, so let's say let's see how much damage it does when I lean up to a strike back. Oh I can't do it. Oh so close. Oh uh, um let me try doing the air. Oh I can't do it. I can't do it. Hold on. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay, okay, let, let him heal a little bit. Come on, come on, heal. Heal. Alright, dude, alright, just forget about it. Alright, there you go. Oh my goodness, that just half a bar. That is way too much. That is way too much. Oh my goodness. In the uh, okay, in the last trick, um, I know about the first stuff I brought you to is that you, he, he can actually shoot three times in the air if you have enough chakra. Oh no, I, I actually no, you can't you can't shoot it three times in the air. That that's the top chip. Now, let me let me try to jump high. Woo. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now, now we're gonna move on to the, the his ultra juice, which is the Susano Flame Control. Now he's now as you probably already may know that when Sasuke is in his Susano form, he is completely invincible. Like he has super armor and he is invincible to anything in this form right here. So I think it's always easy to your advantage. Now his combo cancel is very easy. Easy. You can use the same cancel as we did in the first one, which is the up combo on the ninth hit. Yeah, that yeah that was way more easier to cancel into. So I say only use the juicy for like beginner players if you wanna use the ED and OP ultimate juicy. Use this one because this one's very good. Alright, so now and there is another way to cancel into this. Um, it's a three hit combo and a neutral combo. There you go. Simple as it's a three hit combo and a neutral combo. Alright, yeah, 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 I already saw it. Kill Haku. Alright, so. So break his guard. I'll show you one more time. There you go, see? Three hit combo and neutral combo. Very easy. Probably like one of the easiest ones you can ever learn. Alright, so now we're gonna cover his awakening. Sasuke. Sasuke's awakening. Where, where is it? Here it is. And there we go. Show me the Susano. Now, of course, the Sus I think his Susano is probably the strongest Susano because modern Susano is kind of slow, Shizu's Susano is kind of slow, and Itachi's Susano does no damage. So I think that this Susano is the best out of the whole game. Alright, first, stop blocking. All right, so let's see how much damage um, um, his his combo does. Oh my goodness, that does that is a lot of damage for us. For us, now does a lot of damage. And I also want you to know that when Sasuke is in his combo, you cannot sub out of it. Trust me, you cannot sub out of it. All right, what the, what was that? Okay, here we go. So while I'm in his combo, I can, I can keep dashing, and then they they can't sub. So it's, it's basically a, a chakra. It's basically a chakra thing. So if you have if you have enough chakra, you basically can do that much damage to your opponent because his his combos are insubable. Oh my goodness! Look how much damage you can do. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that is way too damn. Oh, way too much damage. All right, so now we're gonna move on to his jutsu. The jutsu is, doesn't. It's not really that fancy. It doesn't do that much damage and. It is terrible support for a season. It is, it is terrible support. In in this, yeah, I don't think you can cancel it with your with your combos. At least I'm not. I'm trying to right now. It's not working. So I don't know. Maybe you can use this as a yellow juice. I don't know. And just just yellow it. But there's nothing really special about this this um, Susano for the Chidori. There's, there's nothing really special about it. Now we'll move on to his tilt. His tilt is a sweep of black flames everywhere. So I'm guessing if you want to get some guy off your butt, then use this. Use this tilt because it's super fast, surprisingly. And there's a lot of range. 
Yeah, it does pretty wow, does really good damage. Wow. Now if you look at it, it does really good damage. Now what is his unblockable attack? Oh wow, that's pretty cool. So basically, if you can, you can use Sasuke's unblockable attack and switch it to another character. If the tree wasn't in my way, you could so use your unblockable attack, switch out, and then use another um big, oh, big um big awakening, and it will combo it up. So is that it? Is that it? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So I guess we are done with Renegon Sasuke. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more tutorials. And, make, and remember, if you want your character, just listen down in the comments below and then I will try my best to do it. I will try my best to set it up, alright? So, my name is Double 12 and I'll see you guys next time.